Hello, my beautiful Aquarians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career or money reading for the end of November, right through to the end of December 2023. I've already cleansed your space and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one to one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I'll never ask for personal details. And I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful. There's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <laughs> Aquarians, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile will be your pile. It's your protagonist energy. The second pile will be any obstacles or difficulties you've been experiencing. And the third pile is the unified energy of how things are going to work out, okay? Also, you may notice I'm in a different environment. I've just gone to visit my folks for a week and a half. So I'll be back in my usual space in the next couple of days. But I just thought uh, I needed to take a quick break there and see my folks and I hope the acoustics is not too bad for you. I did bring my special microphone with me so I'm hoping all is well there. Uh, now let's get straight to your reading. Thank you so much Spirit Guides, Guardian Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Can you please show them what are they meant to see regarding their career? What is to come for them in the next six weeks? Okay, so uh, some of you are thinking about taking a course of learning over the next coming weeks. This could be something that's online, or maybe you are in some way upskilling or thinking about getting a qualification or a certificate in order to enhance your skill set. You're someone who is naturally very gifted and talented at what you do. You work really hard. You're so good at what you do, you could actually teach. Okay, so some of you may be thinking about setting up a course of learning for other people. You may decide to perhaps record something or write something down, create a book or uh, some sort of lesson plan to help other people. And it could be some passive income that comes in your way whilst you do something else. Um, now, I definitely get a sense here that some of you are thinking about second streams of income or you're thinking about uh, maybe taking up a seasonal position in some way. Um, your first card there is the Ten of Swords. So that can indicate that you are hoping to wind down the year by... Um Finishing off all your projects and, uh, you know, uh, tying up loose ends, as it were. There's two swords cards. So a lot of you are very much in a very cerebral energy about thinking about your next steps. And we do have the judgment card there. So that's really about your higher calling, uh, focusing on what steps are necessary to get on track regarding your goal. Now, I definitely see that you are on the right path. I mean, the sun card is your outcome card, which means you are you know, uh, going to reach the position that you're hoping for. But there's a lot of tens in your chart right now, which means you're seeing the next six weeks as winding down. You're coming to a close. And a lot of you are thinking, thank goodness, 2023 is nearly over. I hope 2024 brings a lot better energy. Some of you have gone through a few bumps in the road in 2023, but you've learned to move past them. And I see that you're going to thrive and survive regardless of whatever it is that you've been going through. Now, I just want to say before I start this reading, there are some beautiful Aquarians out there who have just come to this reading and they have ended a position. So whether you lost your job or walked away from something or got made redundant in some way, I definitely see a new position opening up for you. There is a wonderful new beginning. Some of you may be worried or anxious about getting a new position, but I definitely see that there is one available to you that's more in alignment with your true calling and I see you're going to be very happy there it's going to be very successful and it's actually going to bring in a lot of prosperity as well we will pull some cards on that but I just wanted to be aware if you have come to this reading and you have not got a position right now and you're wondering how things are going to work for you I definitely see that you're going to sort of 
find this new position towards the end of December and it will be something that you will fully launch or action or move into in 2024 and you will really establish yourself as someone who is um, very good at what you do. Now, for the rest of you who are currently in a career, I definitely see uh, with the inner teacher, this is the Hierophant. So this is about like uh, rules, regulations, all the things you have to do. I feel like you're a little bit on autopilot right now, tying up loose ends, focusing on making projects uh, come to some sort of closure. And I definitely see some of you are thinking about the next steps of your career, what you want to do for 2024. I see that some of you are thinking about either putting yourself on that course of learning or you're currently taking it and you're going to get a qualification or a certification in some way that helps you upskill in order to bring in more pay because I get a sense here of you elevating through the ranks. Also, some of you may be thinking about uh, finding a mentor or you may find someone online who really inspires you and you see something that they do and you think, you know what, I could do that, but you will have your own unique spin on it. So you lead with your authentic talent and you create something but you stand out from the crowd okay now this could be something that's online because you have a lot of swords in your reading so this is of the air so it could be you know an opportunity that you've been thinking about for quite some time or it's something that you'll see online and think you know what I could do that some of you may be launching an entrepreneurial ship in the next coming weeks or these are ideas that you've been having and you'll do it in 2024 however it feels like you're like restructuring your career in some way to put yourself in a really good position to take the next steps okay now I definitely see if you're working in a company I feel there are people in like the hierarchy or people in positions of power in that company who are noticing what you do and want to elevate you. So some of you, if you haven't received a promotion or a raise or a bonus just yet, I definitely see it's on the cards for you. And I see that there is more opportunity coming for you as you move into 2024 as well. So I feel like some of you could be leaving a position in the same company in order to embrace a new position in the same company. But if you feel like you've hit a glass ceiling where you're at right now, some of you are wondering, should you move completely? Because we have the Ten of Swords, okay? Now I have to say, when I started your reading, I felt exhausted, okay? So some of you, it feels like you're winding down the end of the year, you know, you've been working really hard, you are exhausted, and you are like wondering where do you take your career next? Some of you may be feeling that it's a, you know, a same old thing, just a different day, and you're trying to approach your career in a different way to make it a little bit more exciting. I feel there's a lot of calculation going on here for you as well. Some of you are analyzing how far you've come, where you are right now, and I feel like you're trying to elevate your status or your um, reputation. It speaks for itself. I feel like you're a really good worker. You are so good at what you do. Whenever you get a king of swords, it means you're a pro. Okay, so you may have hit a certain level where you're at, and the ten of swords kind of says... That's the glass ceiling. So some of you are looking at, is there room for elevation where you're at right now? If the answer is no, I definitely get a sense here that you are changing. Some of you may be putting your resume out there in order to find new opportunities. And if you're an entrepreneur already, because the King of Swords is a card of entrepreneurship, some of you, I feel like you are thinking of new ideas of how to expand your business, go international, because this is an international card. And some of you may be learning how other countries um, have certain practices or tax rules and regulations, or you're trying to learn some rules in order to um, make it fit for whatever it is that you do. That's what I, I feel here. So some of you are trying to expand your knowledge, but also expand your pay packet and, of course, your opportunities. So I definitely see that there is room for expansion here. And I also see that a lot of you are almost like analyzing where you're at right now, how far you've come. It feels like you're taking stock how far you want to go or what are you going to be doing next year in order to action a plan that you have. You're certainly cutting out anything or anybody who drains your energy, okay? Um, some of you may have felt really tested this year in your career as well, and you're learning how to navigate it better, especially since we have a lot of swords in your chart as we move towards the end of the year. A lot of you are in thinking mode, but also you are trying to manage your stress levels, get clear on what it is that you want, take the pressure off a little bit, and we've got the moon card there, which is all about self-reflection, okay? 
I feel 2023 may have thrown you some curveballs in your career. There may have been people who came and went in your career environment. Um, some of you may even be witnessing people leaving your current circumstances and you yourself may be thinking about leaving a position in order to embrace something new. But this is a card that indicates some of you are thinking whether you should take a little bit more of a you know, a long-term contract or a seasonal role or even go freelance. So some of you are actually um, like in between thoughts or um, in between decisions right now regarding your dream or your goal because the moon card is all about your dreams. Okay, and some of you have felt really tested. You're trying to follow your dreams, follow your heart. We've got the six of swords there. We've also got the ten of wands. Now, remember that these cards are in the resistance position, so it's like you got it in the reverse, okay? So some of you are contemplating a new start or a new direction in some way, or you're a little bit worried about what the new year will bring because things have been a little bit up and down recently. So I feel like you're cautiously moving into 2024, wondering what is in store. Now look at your outcome, you've got the Sun card. So I definitely see that there are some really awesome things coming your way. You've also got the Nine of Cups. So I feel like you're on track to get a wish come true in your career but also with the six of swords it tells me that you've been tested now you are being protected in your circumstances so if something did not go your way whether it was a promotion a raise or an opportunity it means it's a silver lining you're being directed towards something greater okay six of swords means you're protected during difficult or testing times and I feel like you're going to be guided towards a better opportunity for you that you'll be so happy about because what is to come is very exciting I definitely see you have some options you're making some major decisions regarding your career and some of you are actually leaving a position to start something new. Now, this could be something creative because we do have a wand here. So it could be that you've been feeling low energy, low vibe. You've been really busy. You've been pushed and pulled in many different directions and you are exhausted. But some of you are finding that uh, lust for life again or lust for your career, reigniting that spark. You may have a new creative project in your mind that you're going to action or perhaps something's going to be offered to you but this is really about those wind in your sails again it just feels like you're moving towards your goals so i definitely get a sense that there's been a bit of a lull where you just take some time out to take stock but then as you move through the rest of december and you move into january suddenly you have a lot more energy you have vitality you're excited about launching something or getting stuck into something and it just feels like you are going to hit the ground running and you're going to achieve whatever it is you set out to do okay but it could be the spark of an idea or some of you are actually transforming your career in a way where it's going to be much more exciting and gives you an opportunity to really establish yourself as someone who is the best at what you do okay because I feel with the king of swords it's already telling me that you're very talented very gifted you're highly intelligent and I feel that you're getting really organized so this energy tells me that although you're winding down the year as we move into 2024, of course, I feel you haven't really wound down. You're kind of strategizing and getting organized for 2024 because I feel there are some big changes happening for you for the better as well. Now, of course, we have illumination. That's the sun card. So a lot of you are getting clarity. Okay, I feel like you are strategizing, thinking about those next steps, but also you're seeing the direction that you're headed in and you're aligning yourself with your true life's mission or your true calling. And with the Sun card, it tells me you're going to be very successful. There's a lot of prosperity. I feel it's more about you being on the right path, heading towards your true north is what I see there. And the Judgment card indicates that you understand what you need to do in order to get to where you want to go. I definitely see that you are going to be appreciated for your skill set. So if you feel like you're not appreciated right now, some of you are feeling a little bit fed up with the way things are going in your career and you may feel that nobody really notices all the hard work that you do. I definitely see that there is a change in that. Now that happens at the end of the year as you move into 2024. So whether that's you moving into a new position or whether it's you moving into a new company, or even if you're an entrepreneur already and you're launching um, a new branch of whatever it is that you do, 
because I feel like you're expanding in some way. I definitely see people are noticing you, what you have to offer, and I feel like they want what you have to offer. And I feel you're going to be rewarded in some way for that. Now that could be new clients, or it could be a new position, new status, or a new pay packet. But ultimately, when you get the sun card as an outcome card in your career and money reading, it means money will be flowing towards you. You're attracting prosperity at this time. Now the judgment card indicates you're going to be right on track. You are um, reevaluating where you have been so far, where you are right now, and where you want to go. So what I see overall for your career in the next coming weeks is you making a plan, getting busy, getting organized to try and action the next steps of your plan. And I feel like you are right on track. But ultimately, I see that you're going to be rewarded for something that you did in your career so far, whether it's a bonus, new position, new status, or you know some sort of elevated energy, I feel like you're having some sort of win in your career. And with the Nine of Cups, something you've been wishing for is showing up for you, okay? Now, Nine of Cups, of course, means that you are going to live a good life. It indicates, you know, you are attracting more abundance, but it also reminds you with the rest of your cards, don't let life pass you by. Of course, work is important, but having balance in life is also important. So I definitely see that you are restructuring the way that you work so you have a little bit more time for you. Now, some of you may also be learning behind the scenes, uh, whether you are like doing a career and on the side as a side hustle, you are learning about another business venture or an entrepreneurial ship or an idea that you want to launch yourself. I definitely see it's going to be very lucrative for you. Some of you may be learning like a language that helps you uh, emigrate or uh, helps you you know, work elsewhere in the world. I definitely get a sense here of you soaking up a lot of knowledge and I get a sense here that it's going to help you in your career long term. Okay. Now in terms of money, uh, looking at this, I feel like with the Ten of Wands, I feel like there's a little bit of pressure there. Actually, let me just pull a quick card on that. I feel some of you have been looking at the world at large and how inflation is going and the price of everything's going up. I see that there's some pressure here, but I feel right at the end of the month, the pressure is taken off a little bit. So whether that's a bonus that comes through or a new position that helps you see a light at the end of the tunnel, I definitely get a sense here that you're attracting more. Okay, Eight of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. So some of you are walking away from something that is not fulfilling for you, whether that's emotionally or um, in terms of finances. So it can mean that you're staying in the same company, but you're moving into a different pay grade or a different uh, role there that brings in more money. It could be the start of something. Some of you may actually be moving physically into a new position as you move into the new year that brings in more money. I feel like you work really hard for your finances, but I see also that you're going to hear some news regarding your finances because there's been more offered for the effort that you put in, okay? And some of you may even have that side hustle, uh, maybe something that you are uh, very gifted at doing, because I feel some of you, especially with the moon card in that position, you have a hidden talent. Okay, you have a hidden talent. Um, you know, the Page of Cups is to follow your bliss, follow your heart. And I do feel like there is some sort of good news that comes in that will be celebrated regarding your career. It may come as a surprise because the Page of Cups is like, poof, out of nowhere, suddenly there's a surprise. You get to do what you love doing. You're going to feel fulfilled by doing it. And some of you may even be thinking about... Um, you know, like an apprenticeship, you know, learn as you earn, or some of you may actually do some sort of volunteer work at a company or volunteer work, perhaps even for like a charity or something, and you meet someone at that event that gives you a hot tip regarding an opportunity for your career or, you know, a, a job that is available. I definitely get a sense here that something like comes to you out of the blue regarding your career sector and attached to it is more money. I definitely see an increase in your finances and it takes the pressure off, okay? But some of you may be trying to work out new sources of money or trying to bring in more, okay? I'm actually hearing that song and they're showing me, um, interesting, they're showing me like lots of crystals and they're highlighting one in particular. It totally goes with the song. I'm hearing, um, you know that song, it's very famous. It was uh, the theme tune to Rocky, it's uh, Eye of the Tiger. Um, I think it's 
by Survivor, or maybe it's on an album called Survivor. I'm not sure. Um, I'll give you the lyrics that they're giving me. Rising up straight to the top. Have the guts had the glory or something? I'm going to have to look that up. It's either had the guts, had the glory. So it's either you having the guts to walk away from something and then taking the glory elsewhere. Or perhaps you took a risk on something in your career and you will celebrate it. So uh, that song may be relevant because you may hear that song over the next coming weeks. It pops out of the blue and suddenly there is money news coming your way. Ultimately, I definitely see some new money coming in for you, okay? Now, um... Just want you to be aware also there is a rogue card in this deck it's meant to be there okay it's a special card not everybody gets that card um so but it is there for a reason okay i'm just going to get those final cards for you we have rose financial relief oh sorry i didn't mention the crystal that they were showing me was actually tiger eye so some of you may have literally bought a tiger eye crystal stone i mean the name of that song is actually called I the Tiger. So the fact that they were showing me Tiger Eye as uh, one of the stones there, maybe it's relevant. So please take it as it resonates. Uh, but it says here, financial relief, being content. That's what your Nine of Cups is all about. Loving care, supportive role, job security, and growing. So you're growing your finances there. And when you think about a rose, okay, roses, the smell of a sweet rose is the reward, but it has a lot of thorns, so it is not easily won. It's difficult, and I feel some of you have been going through a very difficult time. You are exhausted, but I feel like you're stepping into a more rewarding time as you move forward. We also have gift, okay? Now, what I see here as well, uh, this could be somebody that you know gives you like a hot piece of information regarding your career in some way where you can step into a new role. But it says here, giving and receiving, sudden windfall, generosity, financial support, work surprise, and vacation. Now, I definitely picked up on like a work surprise happening for you because I feel things are shifting behind the scenes. And some of you may hear of some managerial restructures. There is going to be someone or people, I feel there's more than one, walking away from a role, okay? So this could be management because we have the Hierophant there and the Moon card. It feels like there's some restructures going on behind the scenes. Or even if you're an entrepreneur and you work in an industry, you may hear of some big changes regarding um, people who are in positions of power, may even be some policies, some documents, uh, rules and regulations that change, policies that change the way that you work. And it may at first feel a little bit disconcerting or a little bit unusual, but actually it works in your favor. Your outcome cards are the Sun card, the Judgment card, and the Nine of Cups. So you get the benefit from whatever this restructure is in the long term, okay? And also we got Spiral. Now what's really wonderful about this card, normally a Spiral you know, people think of it as a negative, but actually this is an upward trend. Upward trend, climbing the ladder, out of control, revisiting a job, promotion and connections. So this is you on the up. Things are getting better for you. So if you feel like you've been going round and round in circles in your career in some way, there is a surprise that indicates something new. Something is changing for you and it's going to be a very positive change there. Um, I'm just going to go and get a rune or a trinket before we close. Thank you so much for it, guys. Can you please guide? Okay, so we have a mirror, which tends to represent self-reflection, okay, and recognizing what you have to offer when it comes to the career sector. Um, also, we have a bat, okay. Now, interesting, the bat is connected really to like heightened sense of hearing. So you may hear something on the down low, as I said, an important piece of information, something that's not readily available to everybody else. And I feel some of you, it could be a night job. Okay, it could be like seasonal work you're gonna take or a night shift job, or some of you are thinking about taking a night shift job as well. And we also have a ring. Now, a ring can indicate a contract, okay? A long-term contract. And I definitely see it's a lucrative deal. It could also be a partnership between you and a brand or you and a company that you've always wanted to work for or with. Or it could even be that you're going to partner up in business with somebody and it's a lucrative deal. But make sure you have, um, you know, a contract drawn up between you both. Just 
in case. I don't see anything negative here at all, but it's always good business practice there as well. But ultimately, this is like a reward. If you really think about it, um, it's like a contract that is rewarding. It's it's not really a diamond, but it's supposed to represent a diamond, of course. Um, but it's like, a, you know, a diamond opportunity or you have a lot to offer. So therefore, you're being offered something that matches your skill set. Finally, rather than, you know, working really hard and feeling that, you know, it's not enough. So I definitely get a sense that there's going to be some sort of readdressing of the balance in your career in some way. And there is a reward that has been hard won coming your way. And it's a bit of a surprise. Okay. So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you, my beautiful Aquarians. If it does, please like and subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians and love and light.